hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to transform your smartphone into a wireless webcam i will be using the Erium web video camera to do this so you can use the Erium web camera on your pc on mac and on linus you have all those links to download in the description so after clicking on that link you are going to find yourself somewhere here so you have three options to download the eRoom application that is going to work on your pc on your mac or on your linux or ubuntu this uh, app is also found in the google play and also in app store that means you can use your android device to connect it as a wireless webcam on your pc you can also use your apple to do this connection so i have the android here that i can use to connect using the earring i also have uh, apple i'm using windows so i will need to choose the first option i'll click on this and automatically i will choose where i want this uh, software to be say download is complete it's very very fast just go to we are downloading file or where your applications have been downloaded and you double click to install that is all so i already installed this on my computer so i don't have to install that again after downloading and installing you will find the earring uh, webcam on your desktop or if you don't find it on your desktop you simply go to your windows you search for it here and you will find it or you can just type the name e -Rune. i'm using windows 10 just type the e -Rune, that is the e -Rune webcam and you click to open so you can use this to do zoom calls yeah to replace your video camera if you don't have it on your pc or if your desktop is having a low quality video camera and you want to replace that with your phone so you can use that on zoom you can also use that on all these video applications like telegram you can use it online you can use it to make a facebook uh, messenger calls you can also use it to make any other call or any other video capture device like obs open broadcast software you can use it there right now we want to connect our Erium webcam on the obs for our live streaming so i will first need to open this application on my phone so we also need to download i put, I put the link in the description you will need to download that app on your smartphone and make sure you open it i will search for the earring camera okay here comes my earring camera the camera is on and i'll also need to open it on my desktop this is the notification that is showing that the, uh, the, the earring camera is running on my desktop and it's also running on my smartphone so first you need to make sure your smartphone is connected to the same network it's connected to the same internet as your desktop or as your laptop or any other device that you are using the Erun camera they must have the same internet connection this is it on my desktop that is the Erun camera test that is it you have options to change it if you are using the face camera you have this option you can flip it to show the other way like this you can turn it this way okay you can also use the front camera like this can use the front camera as you can see this is the front camera you can add light if you need light so you can use your your phone you can use the light of your phone so or you can also buy the pro version if you want to have other pro features like your own webcam pro free version already supports all basic camera function that is what they are saying in this app so you don't need to go further by buying the pro version or if you want to support then you have you can go to buy to support all this uh, computer or app developers so 
here it's automatic video format is automatic you can go to setting you can choose the format that you want so it supports right up to 4k this is 4k video you can select it but that should also match on your phone if your phone can't film up to 4k then you can't have that option i will also select this you can select the format that you want your area webcam to be projecting now let me go to obs and show you how to add these settings remember you need to be connected on your laptop you need to be connected on your phone so i will add this is the earring camera that i already added in my uh, obs so i will just switch it on let me switch this one off so that maybe you can that is my earring camera oh sorry this is my earring camera running on my that is it that is it running, running if you want to add that on obs i think you know what to do just go to this plus and you select the video capture video capture device and here you input a name oh this is earring camera you just input a name like okay and then here you select the device you select earring camera this is the earring camera let me go now to zoom this is my zoom okay here in zoom suppose you want to have a meeting with your workers or with anybody you go to new meeting just click on this camera so that is my uh, uvc camera that is playing it is not my earring camera because that is my phone okay click on this drop arrow and you choose video settings video settings for for start you need to go to video setting and select the camera that you want to be using that is uvc the one that is on top of my screen that is running right now so i'll click on this drop arrow and select the earring camera so now the earring camera is playing that is me using the earring camera that is a preview so if you want to use this then you can use it you can go to the original if you want it to be like this go to the hd format that is the hd make sure you choose the hd format so that it produces the highest video quality possible you can also turn up my appearance you can increase the lighting condition everything mirror my video see mirror you can change it flip it this way or that is under zoom uh, but that is not what we were called to do today it was just to show you how to connect your earring webcam on your laptop or on your desktop remember before you run this you need to install the earring the earring webcam on your desktop be it on mac be it on windows be it on ubuntu you also need to install the smartphone application on your phone and they must also be connected to the same network that is your phone and your computer must be connected to the same network that is the package i put for you today in this tutorial if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to leave us your comment don't forget to like the video don't forget to share to your friends don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you won't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial